Hello, my name is Joe, and in this course, I'm going to take you through how to create photogrammetry models for films, TV, and games. If you find this helpful, please like and subscribe and hit that bell for more videos. And don't forget to check out my website, 3dassetlibrary.com, for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. Also, if you find this helpful, please check out my Patreon below for exclusive content relating to photogrammetry, games. So this course is about photogrammetry or sometimes called photo scanning where we can take a load of photos of an object and then turn it into a 3D mesh much like this whether that is just normal 3D scans or photo scans or full 360 degree ones like this where you can move around any object. Um, what I want to do is I want to ideally make this photo uh, scanning course um, as comprehensive, uh, comprehensive as possible uh, so that you can use this in any program like I, I use Metashape, I'll explain later why I use Metashape, but I want to try and keep it where I'm not using any tools that are unique to Metashape, that these uh, methods can also be applied to, say, Alice Vision, 3D Zephyr, Reality Capture, etc. It's just a matter of you then saying, well, how do I mask something? Go to Google, mask something in Re Reality Capture, and it'll tell you what you do. So this is essentially teaching you the principles of uh, 3D scanning, uh, photo scanning, to achieve results like this and obviously better results as we go along. Um, what I want to do is make, as I say, make this as best as I can. So if you run into any issues, if something isn't explained clearly enough, please do let me know in the comments uh, before leaving reviews because I will do my best to fix it. But you know, I I'm, I'm take pride in looking after people that support me so please do let me know what can be explained better perhaps what could be better in videos things like that that would help people in the future whether you need more files example files things like that so please do let me know so um we as i say this is going to focus on photogrammetry and give you a good understanding um to apply this to pretty much any software ideally so let's move to the next part so what requirements are needed for this course? I would say that there aren't really any. I'm trying to explain this in such a way that it is good for beginners and also people that are maybe experienced in 3D. Obviously, if you have experience in 3D modeling softwares like Blender and that, you will understand some of these um, sections a lot better because, you know, there's certain terminologies that you might think, oh, what's a vertex? What's an edge? Da, 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 da. But I will try and explain as much as in as much detail as possible without getting too... Um, um, to uh, bog down with just too much information for people that already know. Um, it's ideal if you'd have a semi-decent computer, you know, if you're running off a 10-year-old computer, it's going to struggle. You know, it's, I mean, it'll probably do it, but what would take probably five minutes on my computer on a really slow one could take hours, but it doesn't really matter if that's the kind of thing you want to, you know, if you're willing to wait. So bear that in mind. Um, it's really, the, I'd say the requirements are really down to hardware. Um, you want to look at obviously, for instance, the software using the Metashapes uh, system requirements to make sure that you meet the correct version of Windows, correct RAM amount, etc. things like that before purchasing this course. Um, because obviously you don't want to purchase this and you can't use it. Um, but yes, I'd say it was, there's nothing really in this course that you need to have a definite understanding of, as I'm going to try and explain this in such a way that even a beginner can understand it and um, follow, follow along. So what softwares are going to be used in th this series? I'm going to be using uh, Metashape. Um, which is from, I believe, Agisoft or Agisoft, as many how you say it. And um, it's going to be the free version, um, well, demo version of this. Uh, it costs about $179 for the full standard edition. So very reasonable if you want to take this seriously. And I'll also be using Blender um, to tidy up some of the uh, transforms, things like that. You know, so I'll, sh I'll, I'll explain all this as we go along so it's, you don't need to worry about it. Um, I will probably dive a little bit into uh, Substance Painter, but you don't need to have Substance Painter for this course. This is just if you want to go that extra step to make your textures look realistic, things like that. But obviously, if you if you already have that ability in texture, texturing all that want to do texturing, you'll know things about, about Substance Painter and how to use Photoshop, things like that. But I'm trying to avoid using um, programs that are expensive where possible. That's why I'm using Metashape and Blender predominantly. So that's all really we need to know and need to download. So moving on to the next bit. So in the last video, we spoke about what softwares will be used. We'll also talk here quickly about what other objects will be used. Obviously a camera, I will in this uh, 
the whole series will be using a phone camera because I want to try and keep it as practical as uh, possible for everyone. But if you have a DSLR camera, the same principles apply here, so you're not going to be lost. Um, also, we'll need a mini turntable, um, which you can get from Amazon for like seven dollars. Um, uh, you don't necessarily have to use a turntable, uh, it's just for practicality and trust me, ease of use is, is going to be very handy but the same rentals will, uh, will apply to this course um, if you don't have a turntable and on an ideal world, a light box or something that's very good at lighting an object without casting huge great shadows and uh, light, uh, keeping the light nice and even. Um, again, you don't need to use it, but you may get issues in your objects, things like that. So it's um, this will be explained a little bit later on, so don't worry too much about it. But they're really the primary things that we need. Possibly a tripod if you've got a tripod. Um, actually, yeah, I would say if you, if you can get a tripod, that would be very, very good. Or something stable to put your camera on so it doesn't move. Because obviously when you're taking photos, you want to ideally be keeping a consistent distance from your object without obviously moving because moving, moving causes blurring and things like that so ideally a stable surface or a tripod to put your your camera on so the question you are probably asking is what will we learn this is going to be a whole procedure of how to get from a to z in creating a 3d scanned object so i'll be showing you how to set up a turntable how to uh, set up your lighting, uh, a light in a lighting box. Um, also set up things like your cameras, how, how to set the things like your focus, your ISO, things like that, and things to watch out for. Um, your camera positions on your tripod, uh, how to generate meshes, how to process images, how to create masks, all sorts, um, to see you through to the final model so yeah this is a, a pretty extensive course and i'm going to try and keep it as quick and as to the point as possible um while still keeping you informed obviously there's documentation online if you want to learn in detail what each of these things do um, maybe if you do want to know about this let me know because obviously i can add this to this uh, you know to the course later down the line i can put it on the end if if you know like an in advance section if you want to know what each thing does but just let me know but i'm going to try and keep this as clean and as quick as possible so as i said before how will this apply to other photo scanning software now what i'm trying to do here although i'm using metashape is i'm trying to explain it in such a way that these procedures can be used in other softwares now i can tell you for a fact that i've used these procedures in from metashape in 3d zephyr and um it's a similar principle, just different tools, tool names perhaps, or tool sets, like, you know, if uh, Metashape has an automatic masking, um, 3D Zephyr has a masking software called Masquerade. So it's just a matter of that you'll be able to go um, through this course and then say, right, I want to know how do I mask an image? And then you just type in 3D F Zephyr mask image or reality capture mask image, and it'll tell you how to do it. And um, so the, all these principles apply to general 3D scanning. Um, the only reason I'm using Metashape is because it's what I think is personally the best for me. So there's no wrong or right in this. Um, so please feel free to use whatever software you want. Ideally, when you're following this course, stick to Metashape because otherwise you'll be battling another program trying to follow this. But if you follow this course and you use this bot software, I believe you'll come out the other end of it having a good understanding of photo scanning and photogrammetry and how it works and how to apply it to other software. You And I say you may even end up using this software. I think it's absolutely brilliant for you. So yeah, um, ideally I want to make this the best course possible for photo scanning. So please let me know if certain areas can be improved, you know, maybe what you'd like added.